Hey guys, Mighty here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to block ads on Twitch Mobile. This is something that you guys have been highly requesting, so with that said, let's get right to it. This first segment's going to be on Twitch live streams, how I personally watch live streams and how I think you guys should too. So, first of all, as you can see in the Twitch app, I'm going to go and open the Twitch app. Uh, I have a list of followers here in my live feed, but I have to scroll through every feed here to see you know every stream and stuff there's a following tab you can sort it from you know viewers high to low but it still just doesn't show the thumbnail and it doesn't show how long the streamers have been live for and so the first thing i do personally when it comes to blocking ads is i use what's called the frosty app now you go to the app store you type in frosty it's a free app uh, i personally use it and then as you can see when i log into my profile i see all the list of streamers here how many viewers they have, obviously, their titles, their thumbnails, and how long they've been live for. So I personally use this. I can click on a stream. Like, I can click on, like, Aiden's stream, for instance. I'd be It'll load man. up. I just don't know if he'd play with so, me. I Aiden's stream loads up just fine. No ads. If I were to click on Dr. Lupo, I think Dr. Lupo's stream has ads. So let's check it out. Okay, so here's an ad, right? So here's the trick. So that's an ad. Here's the trick that I do on Frosty personally is I'll click on the video and I'll kind of spam click the play and the pause button a lot and that'll actually like skip the ad prematurely and just load up the live stream feed. So if I click here, I start clicking the play and the pause feed. There it is. It's playing the stream. So no ads and I'm able to watch Dr. Lupo. So. That's kind of how I bypass the ads on, on Twitch Mobile, is I just use the Frosty app, and then if I click on a stream and there's an ad, just click back, click on the stream again, and just start spamming the play in the pause header. So, see if I play it again. Oh, uh, no ad that time. Inside, so, so, I think there's like a 15 or 20 minute interval um, when you do like prematurely skip the ads. So, that's what I've been doing, uh, you know, when it comes to mobile and it comes to live streams uh, that way. Um, and now I'll show you guys for past broadcasts. Now, Frosty doesn't support past broadcasts. Um, I'm sure maybe it might be a work in progress or maybe it'll be out in the future. I don't know. But what I do is I'll find a streamer that I want to watch on Twitch. You know, let's say I want to watch, um, you know, let's say maybe Parasite is playing some of the Black Ops 6 beta, right? You got the fuck you got on my fucking so I'll go to videos. I'll go down to past broadcasts. Now, if the stream is live currently, as you can see, the 634 at the top, and then it increments, that means he's live. You'll be able to watch the past broadcast that way without any ads. But if I go to something older that's not live, let's say this one here. What if you could face every It's playing day an ad. Confidence. Okay, so here's the trick. Open up the past broadcast, and then you immediately have to click, like, press the player button down, the little circle that pops up. I'll try and edit for you guys, but that circle there that I just grabbed, and I'm moving it back and forth, right? And now, once and I release, age to count, say, oh, it's age to skip the ads. So there you go. So if it's playing one of two, one of three ads, one of four, click that playhead, start scrubbing it back and forth, and then it'll uh, it'll kind of just skip them. Like it's weird. I don't I don't really know the programming behind it, but it just skips the videos, like skips the ads. And then it just goes straight to the live stream. Why or no point of reporting them? They're not getting shot of this. So there you go. Anyways, I've been highly requested to do this video, so I hope you guys learned something from it. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.